what's up youtube welcome or welcome back to my channel and i am back so today i went to the beauty supply store and i got about nine bandanas um i'm not going to be using all of them but today we are going to be making a puffer vest so <clears throat> these bandanas were good 99 cent um plus tax so like a dollar and seven cent each so yeah that was really cheap and then everything else i already had from joann's now um if you do not have a print already made or like a blueprint or anything what i just like to do is use a old jacket or this robe that i cut up and i just use that as my blueprint um don't forget to leave seam allowance when you are cutting right here i barely left any seam allowance because the the robe is already big on me so i know that it was gonna fit any it was gonna fit anyway um right here i'm just cutting off the little bitty edges that was left on there and then guys what you really want to do to avoid cutting out four pieces uh you want to just stack two bandanas on top of each other and just cut them out at the same time after you do that separate them obviously like i'm gonna show you right here separate them and then cut one of those down the middle um and that'll be your front panel and your back panel also a mistake that i did make that i realized at the end of making this jacket was that there are words such as made in china on certain parts of the bandana and i didn't realize so i got a random made in china word at the top of the panel as you guys can see all the way at the top and yeah to avoid that just flip the bandana and cut that off at the bottom now guys i have this plain white material i forgot the name of this material i did get this from walmart it was last minute and it is a non-stretch material i'm going to be using this material as my inside um panels you guys will see what i'm talking about at the end but um you're gonna basically do the same thing as you did with the bandanas but what i'm gonna do is fold it over twice so that we that way you won't have to cut out four different pieces see i folded over actually i folded over three times i guess if you want to count it like that and then just gonna apply that panel on top and then you're gonna trace that and boom same exact steps and you're gonna also do that with the batting if you guys use batting you don't have to use batting if you don't want to but it will make your flannel or whatever you guys are making a little bit more warmer or comfier And never, never, ever, 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 ever throw away your leftover material. You never know what you will need it for. Unless you just know like it's just garbage. But that's enough material to make a little some, some extra up out of it. I don't know what I'm going to make, but something going to get made up out of it. Boom. I got my two pieces and you know what I'm going to do. Cut that right down the middle. Once again, my two front pieces and my back. The two extra strips that I have from cutting off the back and the front panel, I'm going to use that as my neck strip. Um, I decided not to cut it and just to have a longer neck strip than usual. Now, I got this batting from Dollar Tree. Not going to lie, it was $1, so why not? And I just want to see, I just want to see the quality of it. Um, and it was pretty decent. Now, I did not have enough of this, so I did have some leftover material that I got from Joann's, and I just used that for the back piece. But once again, guys, fold that over twice, and this is going to be my two front panels. I'm going to cut that in half, and the material that I got from Joann's, I'm going to use that as my back piece. All you got to do is improvise, y'all. Now, 
Now, as you guys can see, I needed a little bit extra batting at the top. So what I did to improvise for that part is I cut an extra piece off from the batting and I just sewed it together and finished cutting out the shape. And that's all you gotta do, just improvise y'all. This is what I mean, improvise. You gotta do what you gotta do. Boom, period. Who's gonna know? How are they gonna know? How are they gonna how they gonna be in my business? You know, they ain't gonna know. They ain't gonna know. Now for the pockets. Not gonna lie, guys, this is my first time making pockets, so I was so excited. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. So YouTubers, if you think ain't nobody watching your videos, please keep going because it's probably me that's watching your videos. Now, as y'all can see, I folded it over twice um as well so i can have four pieces in all and i won't have to cut out all the different pieces and i just used my hand as a shaper and just cut around that um if you have a better way to make pockets please dm me on instagram send it to me tag me you know or whatever do what you gotta do just let me know this is my first time let me know something let me know something let's sew so now y'all i really thought i was killing it with the angles i thought i had the best angles not gonna lie the angles that i had for this video was trash while i was sewing so i probably have to make another video for y'all please let me know that was just my opinion i think that the angles are trash but if y'all feel like the angles are fine i just feel like y'all really can't see nothing but anyways back to the video so now what I'm going to be doing is using my ruler and going up six inches. So I did six, um, and then I did 12. And I just dotted that, and then I obviously drew the line across. And I did this for all three pieces, which is the back panel the, and the two front panel pieces. Shout out to Janye, or I know her as Lahoma. Um, she's the one who kind of gave me an idea for this vest like i seen one of her videos and i was like oh that is fine and i don't think she even make those anymore could have found her facebook so i had to make one myself After doing that make sure that you guys pin your pieces your um batting to the material please pin it um i'll be thinking i'm gonna go and don't be trying to pin it and then stuff be all off measurements and yeah just don't be right so just pin it down unless you just feel like you to go you know but now what i'm gonna be doing is sewing across and then i'm gonna be sewing around one side one side of the panel so that way i have my opening to stuff the panel with the cotton I don't think I said this, but you also have to sew around the bottom and the top. But make sure you guys leave one side open. I usually like to sew on the 
right side of the panel that way it won't be any extra material um, like going towards the sewing machine if you guys get what I'm saying um, and it'll just all be on the left side it's easier for me to manage that way so if that helps you then do that Um, I cropped out me doing the third panel because I didn't think that it was necessary. All you're doing is repeating the same steps as you did for the first two panels. So, time for the pockets. Make sure that you have your two facings facing together. What's the better way I can say this? Your right sides facing up. Make sure that they are facing together. So, the side that people will see make sure it is on the top make sure you can see it at this part now after sewing that down you're gonna fold the pocket back the other way and do a top stitch on top of the pocket on the pocket side not on the panel side on the pocket side now what i'm showing you guys right here is just me sewing the pockets on the other panels and then I'm gonna show, oh, I don't think I showed y'all how I connected them at the end. I gotta do another video, I'm sorry y'all. I am so sorry, I did not show y'all how I connected. But let's just continue the video. After sewing one side of the pocket on, I'm gonna set that to the side cause now it's time to stuff. <laughs> Now, I got this stuff in from Joann's also. For the bag, it was $10, but I also got a box just in case, and the box was $27. Um, I'm going to put how many pounds or how much cotton comes in it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to put that in a description or somewhere on the screen. Now, 
when you are stuffing this guys you don't want it to be looking deflated but you don't all you you also don't want to look like a sumo wrestler so just make sure you put just enough but not too much make sure you try to like pull it pull it apart first and then stuff it in there you don't want it to look too you want you don't want it to look like you can't move but you also don't want it to look anorexic you feel me Now that we are done stuffing, it's time to sew the left side of the panel now. You do not have to pin it, but if you want to, you can pin it. But make sure that it is even. Make sure that your batten and your panel, the material that you're going to use, make sure that it is even. Because the stuffing will make it more fluffy and kind of more hard to sew. Okay, now it's time to connect all of our pieces. So what you're gonna do is face your back panel down, face forward, facing up, right sides together once again. So the two, the outside pieces, make sure that they are facing together. Now for the inside panels what you want to do is sew the two shoulder pieces together I messed up by sewing the whole thing together but what you want to do is sew the two shoulder pieces together that is it for right now after sewing that together you want to attach the neckband piece and then from the neckband piece you're gonna attach it to the overall vest and then you have your complete vest but don't forget make sure that the two faces are together once you flip them inside out then you should see no seams at all whatsoever you should see no seams once you flip it inside out so guys 
I am going to be making another video for you because the angles, I feel like they are trash and it, I did not um, show you guys how I attached the pockets together or the overall piece. I just jumped to the finished product. So yeah, I will be doing another project for you guys really, really soon. Stay tuned. So guys, so excited, or whatever Kevin Hart said, I got me some tags. Now, this was just a rough draft, but I still use them. I'm also going to order me some new ones um, with a new logo and everything. But I just want to show y'all, like, look at my tag. Look at my tag. Look at my name. Look at my name. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it's the finished this product, y'all. This how I do my custom hang tags. So first you want to go to Vista Print and get you some business cards or you can go to Walgreens and then I get a hole puncher. You can get that from Dollar Tree and also you can get these scrunchies from Dollar Tree. I obviously cut it and then I burn it to combine it back together. And then you can get these safety pins also from Dollar Tree. Apply the safety pin through the scrunchie and then through the custom item and boom you have a ghetto hang tag. A ghetto cheap hang tag. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok. If you guys still like this video, even though my angles were not it, please like, share, subscribe, tag your peoples about me, come and shop, website dropping soon. Follow me on Instagram, DM me y'all ideas. Just, 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 just show some love, show some support. Thank y'all.